A rapid response on Winton Road. A school bus slammed into a power pole after a crash involving several cars. Cincinnati police say driver Robert Jett tried to pass another car, causing a chain reaction crash after he lost control. Police say Jett hit a Dodge Neon, causing it to hit the bus, which then spun out. The bus hit a Ford Taurus, and the driver of the Neon was trapped. We was praying, Lord Jesus, please let our children be all right. Letitia McKelton heard what happened from a friend. She hitched a ride to get her son, six-year-old Malachi, who was on the bus. Um, she crashed into the uh, woman, and then she went all the way up and um, crashed into the, um, the, the stick thingy. He and tens of other students were frightened. Cincinnati police say five vehicles were involved. In the neon, the driver was cut out of the car. A two-year-old boy was ejected, and another one-year-old boy inside was hurt. It was a toddler, like an infant in the car seat that was up there. So you never know what might what happen. Brianna Fulton came running for her four children. I hugged them. That's all I can do. It's terrifying. Your kids could be here today and gone tomorrow. And with car accidents, it can be the last. So it's just terrifying to really see. Ambulances hurried into the scene and just as quickly rushed out. <laughs> Tonight, these parents are just glad their little ones are alive. Right. I'm just about to take them to the emergency room and get them checked out. They probably won't even go to school tomorrow. And a lot to talk about here at 11 o'clock tonight. Cincinnati police say the driver of that neon is in serious condition at UC Medical Center. Those two toddlers who were in the neon are here at Children's Hospital. We are told they are in serious condition. The bus driver involved is in fair condition at UC Medical Center. And a 12 year old girl who was on that bus is here at Children's Hospital. She is in critical condition. The good news here, though, the other students on that bus are expected to be OK. We're live at Children's Hospital tonight. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.